Hello and welcome to the Bullish Money YouTube channel. I know that there's been a lot of intense rhetoric surrounding this year's general election. And quite frankly, everything boils down to two things. One, the economy, and number two, immigration. I wanna first talk about economy because financial issues are my primary concern. We've heard tremendous reports coming out from uh, the Department of Labor saying that the jobs growth is, is so strong and we, we have unemployment down to 4.9%. And yes, that is true. Unemployment, nominally speaking, is down to 4.9%. However, wage growth has been flat over the last 40 years. This has been a problem since President Carter took office and this has not been adequately addressed by either administration. Now with Clinton on one side and we have Donald Trump on the other, there's only one candidate I truly believe has excelled in bringing jobs, good jobs back to America and that's Donald Trump. I mean we see his business record. We don't see a whole lot in terms of Hillary Clinton because she, quite frankly she has not done anything in terms of bringing substantive change to the American people. When we hear about Hillary Clinton, all we hear about are controversies and, and conspiracies. There's just a lot of weird stuff happens to people who associate themselves with Hillary Clinton. Clearly, this is a candidate that has been bought and paid for by liberal elitists. Quite frankly, after eight years of Obama, I think we really do need a change in this department. The other big issue, of course, is immigration. We hear a lot of rhetoric that Donald Trump is racist. And I find such blatant attacks, such blatant inaccurate attacks to be quite offensive. As a minority, I don't see anything racist about Donald Trump. It's, it's funny that uh, when, when Mr. Trump was running The Apprentice Show, nobody, nobody accused him of being racist or accused him of being sexist. Everybody loved the Donald. And you look at the winners of the show and you look at the, the candidates that were part of that show and they encompass men, women, and, and ethnicities and different religions. There was no discrimination whatsoever. Only when Mr. Trump decided to, to become President of the United States, to, to apply for his candidacy towards the highest position in this country, only then did the liberal media suddenly spout this, this lie that Mr. Trump is racist. I, I find that to, to be completely disingenuous when the liberal media had ample opportunity years and years and years ago to level this charge. If this charge was, was really accurate that Mr. Trump is racist, well, shouldn't we have talked about this 10 years ago? No, we didn't talk about it 10 years ago because the liberal media loved his show his show was was you know raking in millions of dollars and millions of views he was very very popular and the liberal media and the hollywood elitists loved it but then when mr trump started speaking honestly about problems that are affecting this country and that problems that are affecting american citizens oh no now the liberal media have turned their back and have labeled him the worst thing you can label somebody in this country, and that is a racist. Again, completely disingenuous charges. And really, what Mr. Trump is saying is that he wants to put American interests and American lives first. What is so racist about that? What is so morally reprehensible about putting Americans first? Look, we have tons of problems. We have tons of problems. Shouldn't we care more about the American family that's out on the streets now because they can't pay their mortgage payments? Shouldn't we worry about that rather than some far off problem in some you know, hole in the wall part of the world that we don't know anything about? I mean, what, what is the, the issue here? I mean, we have 
terrorism, just violent extremism affecting every part of the globe. And of course, we need to find a solution. We as Americans, as, as, the, as the leader of the free world, we need to find a solution. But that solution does not mean opening ourselves up, making ourselves vulnerable to terrorism, to further acts of terrorism. That is not the answer. We need to find a solution, but we need to find an effective solution. And number one, the biggest priority is to protect the American people. That is the biggest job, and that is the most important job of any government body, is to protect their own citizens. If you can't protect your own citizens, my God, what, what is the point of having a free country? So these are the reasons, these two reasons, the economy and immigration, these are the, these are the core strengths of Donald Trump. And that is why I will continue to support his candidacy.